and they brought technology with them in a form of guns. It is very tough to have a battle and fight somebody when he's looking at you armed with a Gatlin gun, which is a machine gun, and you've got a bow and arrow, a tomahawk, and a spear, and a knife. That's a very difficult fight. And yet our people successfully waged that war for many decades to the point where up here, the Washita said it's costing us too much money. We need to come up with a peace treaty with the Lakota. And so they sat down with Lakotas. And for quite some time, they discussed what this paper should say. And even though Lakotas at that time did not speak Washichu, and the, Lakota, and the Washichu did not speak Lakota, they had a very difficult time talking and trying to agree what to agree on. And they come in with interpreters, some people who said they could speak both Washichu and Lakota. And sometimes they weren't always honest. And when that Lakota said something, sometimes that interpreter didn't always interpret it correctly. But this discussion went on. And eventually that paper that you have is kind of what they come up with. But the original is on Probably a buffalo hide. None of us have ever seen it, what it looks like. And then they took that and they took it to Chicago. And behind the Lakota's back, they rewrote it. And they changed and they added some things to that treaty. So that the treaty that you have today. Even though it's fairly accurate, there are some things that Lakota did not agree to back then, and some things that were changed. But it is the law of the land. Lakotas are plugged into the constitution of this country, along with the federal government and the state government. And I'm going to get into kind of a history as to why I stand before you and why I am the president of St. Degreshka University. I'm going to give you a little history of myself as to who I am. Because I think you're going to see a lot of similarity in who we are. I never intended to be on the tribal council, but the next eight years I was on the tribal council. And he said, well, being on a tribal council, he said, will we'll expose you to every issue that faces our people. And then you'll be able to bring that college along to address those issues. He said, it'll be the best teacher that you'll ever have. And he was right, tribal council, you learn a lot of things there. But also, you learn how to wheel and deal with that tribal council, but also to see its weaknesses. And all of the decisions that we have now are made in the tribal council. And Stanley said, we, got, we have to give that power back to the people. And it's the people who live those issues that are gonna be community. 